If you used to work in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve, not the cut page, the edit page, then you are maybe familiar with the JKL controls. Now we finally have the JKL controls also in the cut page. And that is the so-called dynamic trimming mode using the JKL buttons. And in this video, I will show you how this works and how you can use this to become a faster video editor. So what is this? If we are here in the cut page and you come up here to these little icons, the first one is the magnetic timeline, turn it on or off. And then the second one, this is the dynamic trimming mode. Every time when you turn on the dynamic trimming mode, your playhead will become yellow, indicating that you are now in the dynamic trimming mode. So to explain that a bit further, I will show you this how this worked in the edit page before. In the edit page, Traditionally, you had this feature already here. If I clapped on dynamic editing mode, then when I'm now in the dynamic trimming editing mode, I can use the keyboard shortcut J, K, and L. Without the trimming mode, what J, K, and L, if you have a keyboard is L, playback forward, K is stop, and J is playback backwards. If I type J again, I can even speed up the playback in the same for L, double tap L and it would playback speed forward. So this is just for playing my stuff. But if I'm in the dynamic trim mode, now instead of just playing back and forward, I can now manipulate my timeline. And depending on what I select, I will explain you that in a second. So before I show you what you now can do with JKL and that was already working in the edit page, we have this now even in the cut page. So. First of all, when we change our timeline, you don't always have to go in, let's say for example, if I want to make this clip shorter, I don't have to come in, make a cut here, select this clip, delete this one, bring this clip in here, and then for example, do the other thing on the opposite, make a cut, delete this one, and bring this in here. There's a faster way how you can do this. The first way, you can for example, always come here to the end of your clips, either with your pencil or with your mouse, and depending on what you select, if I select the end of that clip, I will only affect this one clip. If I select it in between, I can roll these clips in between. So for example, the same thing I just did without deleting anything, I can just grab this and position this somewhere here. The same with the end here. If there's still meat, you see here in the white line, I still have meat on both clips. I can bring this in closer here. So this is when you do the edit without playback. If I do now the same, and I select this one here, the edit trim mode, and I select, for example, here in between. Now I can use the JKL on my keyboard, for example, playback forward. Now I see in real time, I can forward, backward and hit stop. So instead of just making my cut, I can look at the footage and use the JKL buttons on my keyboard. And not just that, I just used the in between. What if I don't select anything? Let's say I have this clip here and I don't select anything. If I now hit JKL, it's just a regular playback. What if I only select, let's say, the whole clip here? Now if I use L, I can move this clip on my timeline in real time to the right, or I can move it in real time to the left. So if I select now a complete clip while the ripple on, as a magnetic timeline is on, and the dynamic trimming mode, I can now change the position of the content inside. So you see this, this is basically the same like, let's stop this, if I don't use this at all, and here on the cut page, you see this in the middle. If I select this, I can do, do this by hand. But if you want to see it in real time and use the shortcut, you can now use this by activating the dynamic trim mode and activating the ripple mode and selecting that clip here. And not just that, if I, for example, click only the end of a clip and now I hit, for example, without the ripple timeline, I can move this clip more further and it will overwrite the rest. What about if I do the same, but I activate the dynamic, the ripple timeline, now I extend my clip, but the rest of the timeline stays the same. Just play around with this. It's a little bit confusing because there's many, many different features, how you can use this. But the most important that you have to know is if you use JKL, L is forward, K is stop, J is backward. And that works now also here in the cut page. If you activate the dynamic trim mode, now instead of just playing your clips, you can actually use the different editing points. These are called editing points. So if I go to the end of a clip, if I go in the middle of a clip, if I go to the clip here, or if I select a complete clip, these are all called editing points. And now you can use JKL together with ripple on or ripple off. This will affect your timeline. So play around with this is a cool way how you can look at your footage at the same time and make emotional cuts and trimming points with the JKL. So this was just one of the many new features that we got with DaVinci Resolve version 20 here on the iPad. I created a complete video breaking down all of the features because there's a couple 
couple of features that you definitely should know about because they can make your editing work so much easier, so much faster. Definitely check out the video here. I will link this one here. And if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe. By the way, I'm Daniel and on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye, I'm Daniel.